What's up everybody? Bailey Maloney here. And today I decided to do another figure review. Only this time I'm reviewing the Jax Pacific Sonic figure line. Now you're probably wondering why do I have two Jax Jack Pacific Sonics? Um, you see, I was kind of debating on whether I should review this Sonic figure with a, with a bounce pad, or should I, ref, should I review this Sonic figure with his skateboard or snowboard? And I thought, you know what, I might as well go ahead and review both of them. So yeah, let's start off with his accessories, shall we? This is his, um, bounce pad, I believe. As you can see, this comes straight up. This looks just like how it does in the games. With the star in the middle. It looks red, black, and yellow. Which is or red, blue, and yellow. It may look like it's black to you, but it's actually blue. And this little button here. This little thing here. You can actually push on it to make it look like Sonic's jumping from it. And here is Sonic's snowboard. I'm going to call it a snowboard because why not? <laughs> now, this snowboard looks really nicely done. It's got Sonic's logo here. Oh, <laughs> and it got Sonic's name in the back of it. It's white and blue in the back, light blue, and this, this one is, I think it's either black or dark blue, might be black, and here is, again, here's Sonic's logo here, loving this, so yeah, that's the accessories, and let's check out the main figure source, Sonic. Now this Sonic, this one looks pretty nice. He's got a nice smile here. His nose is shaped correctly. His head is shaped correctly. His ears, his eyes are colored in correctly. The, the painting and the sculpting of this figure is actually nicely done, I'll be honest. He's got the nice color for his arms and belly patch here. The spines in the back are painted nice, are sculpted in nicely, same as for this tail. And his shoes are painted really nicely. They look like he he looks like he just popped out of the game. <laughs> oh, that would be so awesome! Wouldn't wouldn't you agree? Now, this hand is closed, and his that was his right hand, and this is his left hand that's holding something kind of like a ring or a snowboard now comparing to now let's get out this sonic figure here his his smile is he's got a toothy grin instead of an actual instead of a usual smile to show how he's um cocky and stuff to show off that now that cheeky smile shows off his personality right there his right hand is open while his left hand is closed. All in all, the painting and sculpting in this figure is nicely done. Although I see a smudge on his left foot. It looks a little off, but it's okay. I'm not too bothered with it. Now, with the painting and sculpting out of the way, Time we go over to articulation, and as always, starting from the head down. Sonic's head can move left and right, and can do a 360. His arms go in and out, forward and back. Since his elbows are already bent, there's no articulation of that, but it's alright. <laughs> Swivel at the wrist. And like the Madoka Kaname figure, 
Figma figure I reviewed. His wrists go up and down as well as swiveling. His legs go on about that far, back about that far, bend and swivel on the knee, and swivel on it on the ankle. <laughs> now I got these Jack Pacific figures uh, for Christmas of 2020, so yeah, I decided to expand my figure collection with both Jazzwares, Tommy, and Jack's Pacific Sonic. Here they are side by side. Yeah, let's do some size comparison, shall we? Here is the three inch Jazzwares Sonic figure. You'll go over here. Here's Sonic Boom Sonic which he'll go right here. Here's the Tomy Modern Sonic. And finally, Movie Sonic, my custom Movie Sonic figure, which he'll go over here next to my Jazzware Sonic figure. Yeah, see the, the Sonic Legacy. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, that wraps up my first figure review on the Jack Specific Sonic figures. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This is Bailey Maloney, signing off. Peace!